Hey, what's good, y'all? It's your boy Don from The Don Show, and we're back again for another K-pop music video reaction. And as you see, my dance brother Lonnie is back in the building. Yes, so check this out, y'all. First, we want to say thank y'all so much for the love and support. Um, we didn't see none of this coming, to be honest with you. We just wanted <laughs> to show genuine love to music, sound, all of that. Like, for real, for real. That's what the whole purpose was, is to show love to all our favorite music and just anything that's different from what we usually listen to. And we are with that because we just love music. And now we are doing K-pop music. And now we got the weekend stuff coming out and we just want to say thank y'all so much for the love and just be aware that we have a lot more coming out very soon we even got sorry on my thing beep <laughs> because actually it was a notification from youtube uh somebody one of y'all are commenting on one of our past videos so again for real thank y'all so much and uh, i think right now we have like 800 subscribers you know what i'm saying like thank y'all so much also thank y'all so much for showing love to my dance brother for his birthday yeah. So, Listen, y'all, yeah. like that that definitely did warm my heart. Uh I did not expect I it was last weekend was definitely a surprise uh of all the love I got it done. I like these cats, y'all, y'all were surprised me, so and I'm not easily surprised, so I appreciate y'all. Much love and much appreciation. Oh yeah. So we, we truly appreciate that, y'all. So today what we're gonna do is um we are we got a big list of archives of like all the stuff we want to do for y'all, which I'll say in the comments. So today we're going to be doing 17 choreography video left and right. So you know how I roll on this show. We do not watch it at all. We find it, we find it, we cue it up, and that's it. We don't even try to fake this. So this is genuinely pure reaction. Pure. Yes, pure straight fruit with season. <laughs> <laughs> so we're going to go ahead and get started on this. We're doing 17 left and right choreography video. Let's go ahead and get started. So let's do this. Here we go. So, y'all. <laughs> Yo, this is like this is like that warhead that you had when you was a kid. Yeah. And you just Yeah, you just like you just put it in your mouth and then all your friends say, oh. And then your your face just twists like a cartoon. Yeah, we just got smacked in the mouth, man. Sheesh. First thing I seen. Very groovy and it bounce. Oh my god. Very groovy and bouncy. And my style of dancing, I'm very bouncy and groovy. That's my thing. If you, like <laughs> listen, just yeah, for us. We real groovy dudes. Mm -hmm. I love groove like and that that initial like just hit yeah. start grooving. That bounce between the groove oh and, and my just and gosh. if you don't know dance, because a lot we have a lot of followers say, hey, we're not dancers, so we don't get it. So mm -hmm. it's like see a bounce and you see somebody just groove, boom, and boom and groove. That's right. something smooth. That's smooth transitions and yeah. already they went right into an explosive. So they keeping the level up. I'm oh liking God. this. Yeah, and it's like ah. too when it comes to uh it doesn't matter if you have choreography, um, battle, performance, um, freestyle or whatever. Uh to have a good groove. Um, it's something that has nice texture to it. Yeah. It really, really helps to put a choreography together. It helps transitions. Um, it helps things feel natural. And so the way everybody was moving mm -hmm. and the, like to hit like that, mm -hmm. I mean, man. Yeah, and that's the main thing is having smooth, natural transitions. No one yes. likes a transition that's just choppy. It's just choppy. And I'm not talking about the good choppy. I'm talking about like you look like you didn't practice yeah. at all. That's This ain't it. Yeah. This is great. This is good. So let's continue on. We only 30 seconds. 37 Jeez. seconds in. Dang, <laughs> man. Y'all disrespectful. Oh, man. Okay, so I want to bring this up for 
when it comes to choreography. One, I'm not I'm paying attention to the music. Definitely got the swag of 2020, 2021, 20, the style of the music, so I'm with it. Right, right. Because that's just that's like a trend through all music right now, especially with dealing with pop music, hip hop. There's a certain trend with the music, especially with like the TikTok and stuff going on. Y'all know what I'm talking about. Yep. But you see it in the choreography, like the relevance of like the trend challenge movements that's happening online. Mm -hmm. They put it in the choreography. I'm going to be really honest with y'all. I don't mind that at all because yep. of the fact that there was a time where certain dance styles in the world wasn't popular, you know, yes. so everyone had that in their generation and era. So I'm seeing what's popping online right now. I'm seeing in the choreography, but it's clean. Yeah. That's the thing. Yeah. It's clean. It's not tacky. It's not, it's like y'all using it professionally and y'all have great group transitions oh with a big squad that they have as a, as a band. Yo, they're, they're moving with it. So it's like, I can't play surprise that I'm seeing what's popping online. They paying attention. It's their generation. That's like, what's up. Yeah, like, listen, we got to understand how how uh, tasking it is to have a group as big as this and move as smooth as they move it. Mm -hmm. And we like consistency. And the groove that they used in the beginning that you saw, they did it again to help with their transition. And it was effortless. Yeah. Another thing I want to point out, Personality. Yes. Everybody I'm seeing has their own form of personality and mm -hmm. how we talked about it in one video where we talked where we mentioned um it, you have to really pay attention to your to people who are your strong suits. And right here where is Paul, which is perfect. A minute and three. Pause it yourself when you watch it again. Look at who has the biggest personality. Doing dude with the blue pants Good and point. the jeans with the Michael Jackson move, everybody doing his pose, he's hitting it the best out of everybody. Mm -hmm. Now, to add to him is if you look over, not not the guy with the uh, like more of like the yellow and blue, but mm -hmm. over with the 2020 shirt yeah. with the sleeves, he seems to me that he's more like the smooth, cool one. Yep. So the the fans are going to smooth and look over to him because that hat is the color that hat that's just do it for me. Me, I wear dark yeah. colors as a performer. That's my big thing. A lot of my friends, they got like the blue, the whites. Me, I'm dark. Red, dark gray, I wear that color a lot and sometimes a brown. But you can see, right, <laughs> so you can see the, uh, you can see that he's the smooth one and you see the one in the center, like energetic. It's great to pay attention to what type of characters you have in your group. I don't care what music genre you are in, pay attention to your band and your group because when it comes down to the choreography, Hey, it's, we're going to see it. Yeah. And mind you, when I said he's doing it the best, I'm not saying that everybody's doing it whack or mm -hmm. worse. What I mean is when it comes to the likeness and the aesthetic of it. Yeah. Because we got to go off of it because it's a performance. Mm -hmm. You need to be aesthetically pleasing. And when it comes to closely resemblance to Michael Jackson, he's hitting it the best. Mm -hmm. There's no mistake as to why he's like dead center. Mm -hmm. At the very least, if, they, if that wasn't the case. And so you see a lot of people's different personalities and how they are as dancers. Mm -hmm. So, like, just, I'm, I'm liking it so far. Sheesh. Yeah, I'm with it. Let's how get... dare you? <laughs> Let's keep doing it. Let's go. <laughs> So, okay, we, there's a lot that happened. Yeah, it's a lot. It's a I'm, lot. Let me. It's <laughs> okay, so I'll, I'll say this: putting those transitions together with this, how many people in this group? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Hold on, I think I miscount. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. So I'm seeing thirteen artists right now doing choreography, getting it in, and those transitions were so smooth. And nice, not fast, but it was no. just nice. They got to their placements. What's I'm gonna tell you this, and tell me if I'm wrong. Like we don't, we not scared to disagree. Oh, for sure. Ripples are not at that easy. The ripples that they just did. If you go back a couple seconds, you will see them. Like he hits the ground, come back up, and bop, 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 and everyone he hit the hands. Then he goes into the next choreography. 
I'm gonna be honest with y'all, trying to do that on stage, it's trying nice. to do that during a music video, it's not easy because that's a lot to remember and trying to sing at the same time. So, yeah, I salute to that. I'm with it. Like, again, like, dan like, I'm so, I mean, thank you guys for suggesting these, these practice videos because, again, the mm -hmm. world, the world gets to see the kind of work that people put in. This is fun. They're mm -hmm. having fun. Yeah. Let's make, like, you know, make no bones about that. Like, they're having fun, but at the same time, it is tasking to, like, do a ripple effect mm -hmm. and still, like, think about the music. That's a lot that's going on. And, and then, just, like, the minor details, just paying attention to staying in sync and paying attention to what everybody else is doing, but also making sure that you're on your mark. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's a, that's a lot. And so, man, being able to go in and out of uh, transitions like that in different groups, mm -hmm. sheesh, um, yeah, let's keep going. Yeah, I'm just in my bag right now. Just yeah, I'm, I'm enjoying this. <laughs> Now check this out. Oh Here, listen, and here's the other thing. It's okay to have certain moves being repeated in your choreography as a group. Like for real. Like you don't want to make it harder than it is. Sometimes being simple, clean, great bounce, great grooves, great transitions yes. in your choreography as you, even if it's a group of three. It's still okay to keep some moves in there and repeat because the chorus and the hooks and somebody's lyrics it's, that's really okay because it keeps it clean and it keeps it engaged because what happens is the audience, y'all are the audience, y'all are the supporters, y'all can remember that move. Yeah. Think about it like this. If eating a cup of your fav favorite ice cream, mm -hmm. the taste is repetitive. Right. And then all of a sudden, like somewhere in there, you f you taste, I don't know, coriander in there. <laughs> <laughs> Just like a little speck of coriander yeah. and then it's like... What was that? Yeah. And you try to keep on going to go back to the taste because you want it because the taste is why you keep on scooping. Mm -hmm. And so there's there's a really big importance when it comes to dancing and being consistent because you want to make sure that we're connecting to each other because it's a language. Mm -hmm. Dancing in itself is its own language. And I want to make sure like when someone's talking to you, they may use little innuendos to make sure you're keeping track. Like when someone says like, well, you know, you feel me. You understand what I'm saying? You see? So it's a, it's a consistency to make sure that you could like to make sure that you're following. And add it in the last part that I have for this is signature. I'm seeing some stuff yeah. that now if I was like if I was in a concert watching this, I would love to be the choreographer. Oh, yeah. But they have a moments where I'm starting to remember certain things that they're doing in this choreography. Yeah. That when they, when I hear the chorus or a, a certain part of the hook and they do a move, I remember that. It's a signature for me to remember. I'm that type of dance teacher and dancer where I have a signature. Like Michael Jackson, Janet Jackson, mm -hmm. Usher, Chris Brown, they all have a signature. Yeah. You just gotta pay attention carefully when you're watching these videos because they do their signature every time. Yep. And 17 is having certain signature movements in this choreography already that is making you be able to catch it and be able to do it at your home. Very so true. I love it. Let's go. Sheesh. That was crazy. I like that. I like that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> See what I'm saying? Yo, man. Da, boom, da, da. You see what I'm saying? Like you, see, like as y'all watch this video, it again, is. those movements is for y'all to be able to follow with them and pay attention to frequency. Yeah. Because the first time it was like there was a lot of space between when they went back to that groove. Mm -hmm. It was like boom, boom, boom. You waited about a minute, thirty seconds before they did it again. Now they're like, okay, the crowd can get in with it. Mm -hmm. The crowd can now sing. It's like hearing the chorus to a song. Mm -hmm. Like ah. And I love like. The song is fun. 
I get that energy. So I'm with that. Yep. But also respect how they're making sure that members of the group is coming forward. Yeah. Like the transitions is getting people forward. Like I'm seeing everybody had a chance to come forward. Yep. Everybody's getting a chance to express. And yeah. you're seeing you're seeing all the personalities. You're seeing the textures of the group, basically. Mm -hmm. You know, you're seeing all the flavors, you're seeing you know, who does what, how they do it. What kind of person is is what? Who's the fun person? Who's the slick person? Mm -hmm. Again, personalities, mm -hmm. and everybody's given a chance to shine. To shine. Mm -hmm. Transition. Just quick side note: the transition to that line in choreography to transition into a line is, I don't think is. It's, people think it's easy, especially with the the spacing that they had to work with too. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> to hit that. Is not always so easy. Also, at the at the top of the uh, of our of the break where we went at, where the dude did the kick. Yeah, spacing is not easy, y'all. Sometimes you miss spacing. There's <laughs> people that haven't been kicked in the knees and and you, smacked you in the face. You literally think that you're at the right place and you're not. You're in the wrong spot and you just kicked your yep. uh, your partner. Like even, even if it even if it is like a duo. Mm -hmm. I've I've done I've done uh, bachata cabaret with mm -hmm. my dance partner, and there have been times where we've had some bloopers. Just to like, you know, yeah. wrong space. <laughs> you know, wrong space, but, yeah. You know, it it happens. It happens. It happens. So for the fact that they're hitting it like this, man, is man. Yeah, and you and th and again, last video we did about dance practice, what did we talk about? We talked about like how many times they ran this mm -hmm. before this was the right one that they wanted y'all to be able to yeah. watch. Think about that, like how many times they did this without looking like they're sweating to death. You know what I mean? So it's like exactly. It, it, it's work, it's a process. Mm -hmm. But with a joyful song, this being on stage, having a great fan base, yep. they're trying to, they, they're making choreography that all y'all could be able to follow. And I can follow this choreo, and I only saw this for the first time tonight. Damn. Like, it's nighttime where we at, yeah, by the way. Yeah. <laughs> so it's, we're yeah. watching this at nighttime. So, good evening. Good evening, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I respect where this is going. I respect Man. this. <laughs> Timing it, timing, pop. Yep, Get the placements together. Bing, 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 bing. Uh-huh, uh-huh, bang, uh-huh, bash, uh-huh, right, uh-huh, bash, uh-huh, bash, uh-huh, 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 Yo, listen. That's what's up, y'all. That's what's up. That's yeah. what's up. That's I what's like. Up. You notice that I think a lot of the more serious ones was kind of up front. Mm -hmm. Your more fun, jumpy, jittery guys was out back. Mm -hmm. Every, like they made no, they made no mistake with how they did their placements. Right. Everybody, right. again, we're really big on attention. On attention. Yeah. If you're dancing and there's no intention behind what you're doing mm -hmm. and there's no uh, there's no purpose behind it, it's gonna be it's, it's gonna be dry. It's gonna be flat. Mm -hmm. And so for them, again, and then again to go back to simplicity, they didn't do anything extra extravagant in the conclusion of the choreography. Mm -hmm. Everybody sat, chill, boom, yeah. boom, boom. Y'all yeah. got that? Yeah. Uh huh. Y'all rock with us? Yeah. That's in that like, hey, y I, we gave y'all everything. Mm -hmm. How does it taste? Yeah. Yeah, it was really like a, it was a really, it's a catchy song that you would see in a movie. It was that yeah. type of energy. Like, you know, you would see this in a movie, commercial, um, an announcement for a war show, a tour. This is one of those songs for me. And I ain't and like, and that's my first time about 17. So I'm fresh and he is too about yeah. this. So just to see this video, just the one thing is, sometimes you don't have to have so much difficult movements it can be simple clean with great transitions great grooves great yeah. bounce and also having a great song behind it and make sure it's matching the lyrics too so people can bear their flow with it yeah with everything that's happening with social media and what's trending what's a challenge this choreography remind me of that mm -hmm. and again that is actually okay why because when i i am a 80s baby so what you think i was doing when i was dancing growing up 80s and 90s movement where people from the 60s and the 50s was like what are you doing yep i'm just i'm just speaking facts like i'm a real hip-hop head and i live the street dance life and i'm telling you 
I would get that. My grandma, baby, what you doing? What is that? Oh, mom, you know, this this right here, you yeah. know this. They like, oh, no, nah, baby, we just one, two step. You know what I'm saying? Yep. We just slide. Where the lockers at? Y'all still locked? Got that little you feel thing. what I mean? Mm. So that movement that they're using in this, I've seen it, you know, from like the TikToks challenges and my dance family doing it too. Yeah. It's But it's catchy and there's nothing wrong with being a catchy. I love that, that the choreography is catchy because if I was there at the concert, I would be doing the same thing because if they yeah. do it and they point at me, I'm... <laughs> what? 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 You know what I'm saying? So I'm going to flow with it. Yeah, okay, man. it's the same attitude that I have with every dance style or anything I see that's challenging. So I love it. I rock with it. I definitely will actually be honest with you. I would love to see it uh, on stage at a concert. Yes. Like yeah. be, as a choreographer, as a creator director, I would love to see this how they space it out mm -hmm. and how they keep the choreography and the crowd connected with the song. Yeah, because they, they started off. Uh, uh, there's a lot of. Uh, what I would say, like, you know, if it was a music video or a stage thing, they have a lot of <clears throat> different scenes. You know, they have your front stage, front center, they had your left and your right, mm -hmm. you know, left and right transitioning back in uh, by coming from the rear or coming from the side or coming back to the front. Mm -hmm. So it would be curious to see how, how that would go um, on a stage, but I'm pretty sure it would be outstanding. Mm -hmm. um, I wonder uh, if they would go into a deeper song after that or they would go energetic, because that's a... Like concert That's, wise, how would that? I feel like you'd have to go a little more energetic or something just as similar as that. Similar as that? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. What do you guys think? Yeah. Let me know what you think. Because I know some of y'all probably seen them on stage and concerts. So mm -hmm. I wonder what they did after this. I yeah. I would love to look forward to watching a music video for y'all. And if y'all want us to watch the music video of this, mm -hmm. please in the comments let us know. Um, I trust y'all already that y'all going to like let our, let us know in the comments like what else y'all want to see yes. but if y'all want us to do the music video please let us know outside of that other other uh in other news another request that we have y'all stop playing with our emotions with these uh <laughs> with these dope music videos and practice videos yeah. and whatnot because y'all keep on smacking us in the mouth and so y'all 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 need to play nice yeah all right and we have so much for y'all too like we have a lot for y'all yeah. like you know yeah. we're we're really about to start just keep watching these and showing love but we also got so much for y'all. Um, we just enjoying this, like genuinely just enjoying this. Um, so, yeah, we just enjoying it. Like I have nothing negative to say. Um, that's not what I do on my uh, my page anyway. That's not how I wrote. Um, so for here, I really like this. I think it's a very catchy choreography that I would I would enjoy watching people from the community that supports like this group i would love to see them on their instagram doing this choreography absolutely. i can see that absolutely. of course you can see that from straight kids and all the other groups but this is one of those choreographies where i was like oh everybody can do this together mm -hmm. everybody everybody mm -hmm. we should be all doing this this could be a whole what well, i almost lost my thought process a flash mob yep Fla exactly there it is it that's what i was thinking mob. about the whole time a because flash mob it, no, like we got to understand that when it comes to doing certain dance styles like we did say that it is tasking to do stuff like this, but at the same time, it was simplistic to where anybody can do it. Yeah, yeah. It's, 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 what the the thing that we're saying that is tasking is doing it in unison as a group. Yes. Think about like this before we go. Think about the people that grew up on Janet Jackson and mm -hmm. Michael Jackson and Usher, old Usher videos, right? Yeah. And think about bands and groups from back in the days in the '90s, and you bring them up, and one of your aunties or uncles talk about that song and they start doing the choreography from that video or doing a certain body gesture that they yeah. remember this is one of those type of choreography that i will i will remember no yeah, yeah. i will remember i can remember a lot of but if, if i'm just a person that don't really dance but you my favorite artist i will remember your stuff like i remember prince how his body moves when he playing you know what I'm saying we on the guitar i remember those things remember right <laughs> I so listen y'all uh we love and appreciate y'all energy showing us love. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for liking. Thank you for sharing. Thank you for commenting and just telling us your thought process. I'm, you know, even though I don't send y'all comments back, I am actually reading them. And I think it's dope that y'all have the energy that y'all have about what y'all like and what y'all love to uh, watch. Keep that energy. Yes, you know, we appreciate trust me. the reviews and we will try to respond. Yeah, we we just busy being emotional watching the videos. Yeah, because we, we just be, <laughs> we just watching them like we like yo, what y'all want us to watch? So let's check it out. Yeah. So yeah. So other than that, y'all, um, if you want to follow us, what I would do is this: if you want us to follow us, I will put our uh, our Instagram um, in our in the, in the captions in the description, so you can follow us to kind of see what we do outside of this. 
But other than that, I hope y'all stay safe, eat healthy, take care of yourself. We out of here. Peace. I drunk everything that was in my cup. <laughs> I was sorry, low key. <laughs>